Good evening and welcome to another edition of You and Your Money. I'd like to thank all the callers who inquired about my health and particularly my loss of voice last week. It's the first time it's ever happened to me. That's both on TV and radio and it's quite awkward. And having just returned from the UK, I now know what the word cold is all about. Hopefully I'll be able to get through tonight's program without a recurrence. However, I've got two fantastic guests, Craig Poga and Christelle Ferry. If I lose my voice, they'll be able to answer all the questions you have on short term. We buy short-term insurance for the purpose of benefiting in the event of a claim through unforeseen circumstances. Policies should be tailored to suit the individual's needs. Insurers need to clearly understand the risks being accepted which will allow them to accurately calculate the insurance premium and also for them to set the terms and conditions of cover. For many insured that are unfamiliar with the terms and conditions and are not enough people take the time and trouble to read through and understand their policy documents. They prefer to assume that everything will be okay in the event of a claim. I read my policy very carefully and sometimes I don't fully understand some of the terms and conditions to answer these questions. Christelle, Craig, thank you very much for joining me this evening. Christelle, first question to you. Do you think policyholders are, are reading their policies only at time of claim? If they read it at a time of claim, I think many people never read their policy documents or their policy wordings and they rely on the advice from their brokers or from the insurance companies and then they tend to find out there's a problem when they, their claims don't get paid out. So, and then it's too late. You have to be proactive. You have to find out before the time. You have to understand what you're buying when it comes to short-term insurance. Right. You know, life is a little bit easier. You buy a life policy, you die, your family gets paid out, hopefully. But with short term, a lot of the claims happen during your lifetime, during that policy, in that pe period of insured. And I just think that when I read the, the, the short term ombudsman's report, there's just a lot of misinterpretation on, on the actual policy wording. Well, it's like anything in life, you know, you get what you pay for. So there's a whole range of insurance policies going from very basic insurance cover to your full comprehensive all risk kind of policies on the other side. So it's important that you understand when you, that you don't just look at the bottom line premium, but that you look, that you compare apples with apples and actually do a proper comparison. And I mean, that's, that's why it's so important to have an insurance broker because he can do that for you and show the differences between the different um, policies and covers. Craig, your job is to read that policy for your clients and at the same time point out to the clients certain terms and conditions. A lot of direct insurance actually established themselves all over the world today. Yes. Are, are policy world, word, wording becoming wider or more restrictive? It's becoming more restrictive. Um, no one policy is the same brand. There's many insurers out there that are playing in the same market and often insurers differentiate where they cut premium and take out the cover whereby uh, pre not prejudicing the insured, but not giving that, that client the benefit of having that, that insurance. Um, Christelle mentioned is that that's the importance of a broker, to identify the client's risk and place that particular, particular risk with an insurer with their appetite uh, to look at that particular client accordingly and, and rate it accordingly. So you, you, you made the comments, you buying the cover, the premium is related to the cover you buy. So when premiums are seen that much lower, I mean, you, you see, still see these ads appearing all over the place, buy motor insurance for 180 rand, very restrictive type cover. And often very, the limitations on the policy are also very restrictive. So again, it's, uh, one needs to make sure that the consumer, the insured, when they obviously apply for the insurance, take the time to read through the fine print. It's not always practical. But uh, thanks to, the, to the, the Act of the Consumer Protection Act, there's a lot of insurers that have shortened the policy wording. Instead of this 200-page document, it's now a 100-page document. So it's become a bit more user-friendly. So yes, as a broker, we always try and encourage clients to read the, the, the preamble and the policy wording. It's not always practical, but then it's the responsibility of the broker to identify and point out all the endorsements and warranties and try and assist their client in understanding the policy um, and, and highlighting those endorsement and warranties. Let's go back to the start of a policy, underwriting. I mean, the quick turnaround, I mean, w what a client wants is when they want to ensure, they want quick underwriting decisions. They want to be able to give you the information and get the cover. How are direct insurers responding well, to this speed? Well, again, I, unfortunately, I can't comment on behalf of the direct insurers, but what I can tell you is the effect by having the benefit of an insurance broker, to paint the picture or to paint the risk to the insurer, it actually shortens the timeline when, it, when, the, when the underwriting has to take place. So we identify and explain to the insurers in the terminology, in the underwriting and insurance terminology, 
it will make it a lot easier for that underwriter to make a decision on that insurance policy. Crystal, you were looking to say to add in, come I, I wanted to say that there's definitely a place in the market for direct insurance because that's why it's so popular. So there are different um, client profiles but for different needs. So um, it w you know, it's not to say that all direct insurance policies is, is not good, but it's important to understand that when you reach a certain stage in your life and you've got a certain number of assets that you need to insure, that then it might be a good time for you to get a broker. In terms of the Phase Act, we are you know, almost forced to make sure that we do a proper risk analysis of our clients' needs and make sure that we provide them with cover that they actually need. So, Well, I'm talking to two experts tonight. I've got Craig Poger, director of the Poger Group, and I've got Christelle Ferry. She's managing director of MUA, MUA Insurance Acceptances. If you'd like to call us, you can always call us on 011-280-3899. You can email me on brian at summit.co.za. Craig, I wanted to ask you a question. I want to come a little bit more specific into insurances now. Yes. Let's start at the beginning, house owner's insurance. Critical to have. I mean, we talk about the peripheral type of insurance. You have a claim, not nice to you to have a claim, but it doesn't really affect your lifestyle. You own a property. I often get asked the question, the responsibility of maintaining that property and what the insurance company's uh, attitude is if you do not maintain properties. Sure. Well, the onus is on the insurer to maintain their property and avoid things like having um, gutters, not looking after the gutters or the general um, appearance of the actual home owners or house. Uh, very often, you know, uh, there is, uh, the insurer doesn't have the disposable income to go and put more uh, gutters in the house or add, um, you know, to, to, to fix the wear and tear issues on that. But the insurance companies take a, a hard stance on that and they say, well, you know, if you haven't taken all um, due care with regarding your home, you know, it can't be seen as their responsibility to, uh, to, to pay for claims that are as a result of wear and tear or defective building or things that haven't been done properly. Well, we're going to take a short break. As I said, you can call me on 011-280-3899. You can email me on brian at summit.co.za. We're talking short-term insurance tonight. Stay tuned. Thank <laughs> you.